Oh shit! Those are some bad Z's. Gotta love the M60. Yeah, baby. Suck it, copper. Whew! You're still not dead? Oh, he blew up. Okay. Whew! <laughs> Jeez Louise! Oh, they're coming! Oh, no! They're coming up that way! Reload quick! Ah, oh, not good! Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that is made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome, generated by the Nitrogen World Generator, and it's Horde Night. Okay, so uh, coming back to give you an update on where we are, and uh, we got to hurry with this, though, because I got to actually have to get to uh, a safe place, because our base isn't actually ready yet. Um, actually, this isn't a Horde base anyway. Uh, so yeah, I've spent a whole lot of time off camera um, mining and wrenching cars and building and upgrading. So uh, where we're at right now is I've finished the pit here and I have it all upgraded to reinforced concrete. And now what I'm doing is I'm working on um, upgrading the walls uh, to reinforce concrete as well. And I've just been doing that, you know, as, as I get uh, more concrete. So up here... I've placed down the uh, the bars and upgraded those to iron, and then I put in this little um, kind of guardrail thingamadoodle so I don't, you know, accidentally uh, fall inside. And the idea here is that when we get rushed by zombies, um, you know, they'll come down and fall into the pit, and then we can just chuck grenades. Uh, I can very easily throw grenades and or pipe bombs uh, right through this little gap here. And what and because of the way that you know the pit's design is, the grenade's going to fall, hit the wall, and then it's going to uh, be funneled down to the center where the zombies are so they get maximum uh, explosion radius. So it should be pretty effective. Um, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to test it out, of course, but it should be pretty effective. And then, of course, the outer walls are also, you know, the steep ramps, which is going to discourage the Zs from hitting on them. This doesn't prevent zombies from hitting, you know, on the walls 100% of the time, but it definitely discourages the the AI from doing it and so hopefully what they'll do is they'll path through here fall down there because I'm going to be you know up in the center so that's the idea uh, I also have as you can tell uh, arrow slits set up you know so that I can be down here shooting through the gaps if you know we got a bunch of zombies incoming or whatever um, and you notice that this lets me get all the way down to the base uh, of the base itself so uh, pretty good you know but we're using arrow slits of course in case we do get cops which we probably will at some point so we have a little bit of protection from that. Um, that's pretty much it. So the next part of this is going to be, uh, we're going to add a, a third layer, another layer of blocks. And then that's going to become the floor of our actual living quarters of the base itself. And then I'll get that all built up. Um, I'll probably build that out of wood just because I like wood and, you know, it looks better. I don't know. Maybe not, though. Well, maybe we'll do concrete and then we can paint it wood later. We'll see. I don't want to spend a, a long, long time on this base, um, but you know, I want it to—I want it to look cool and be nice too. So we'll see. I'll, I'll decide if I want to do that uh, later on. The advantage of, of making it concrete, of course, is twofold. One, it's going to be a lot stronger, and will and will be able to withstand cops bit, whereas wood could get destroyed easily. Um, actually, you know, the more I think about that, the more we probably better do it that way because um, I'm gonna—I don't want my equipment inside and my storage crates and all that to get ruined. Um. The other thing, though, is, and I might be overbuilding this just a little bit, just because of the fact that, you know, its purpose is just to withstand onesie, twosie, zombies, and, and running hordes. But the advantage of doing all this building and upgrading is I get a lot of XP for it. So that's kind of a secondary reason why, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to all the effort to upgrade this whole entire thing to reinforce concrete. Okay, well, anyway, that gives us an update on where we are uh, with uh, the base itself. Uh, so let's go ahead. Oh, and look at that. We got the motorcycle now, too. So we're, <laughs> we're ready to go on the motorcycle. M much more, uh, a, a much better improvement, I should say, over the mini bike itself. It goes faster, has more storage space. So, okay. So let's go ahead. Um, this is where our current uh, coal slash iron mine is. I've been digging in there. And then I have, I have a lead mine and I also have a, a nitrate mine, too. Um... Let me check these really quick before we leave. I think we're going to go into the mega city for the Horde Knight. We're just going to perch on top of another apartment building or something like that. So you 
you can make iron. So you just make a bunch of forged iron. Let's split that up. These things have been running non-stop since, you know, since we started. Looks like, uh, looks like you don't have anything else. All right, well, good enough. Just do what you can. Get the rest of that clay, um, fed into the forge. I have wrenched almost every car in this town. We have one, we have a couple more places that I still need to hit, um, because that's my main, you know, my main source of gasoline. And by the way, we have a full, I've got about 3,000 gas in my inventory, plus there's a full 10,000 stack inside the motorcycle. So we're pretty well equipped on gasoline at the moment. But we've got a, a Carl's Cars and then this kind of impound place right here. As you can see, there's a few cars inside that we still have cars. And once we're done with that, then of course we're going to have to go back out into the wasteland uh, for more car wrenching. But we're a little bit better equipped to do that now with the motorcycle, if for no other reason we can go much faster and get away from those freaking buzzards man okay let's see where are we going uh, we need to head south yeah let's go this way I've looted all the all the gas pumps here I haven't really done much in the way of actually going into POIs um, some of that I will probably uh, do on camera um, so when we when we start doing the POIs and I don't think I don't think the trader is going to give us a whole lot of quests in the green biome, so my plan is to um, make sure I'm going the right way here. My plan is to we'll probably just go systematically go through every POI in town. Um, we'll just do it, you know, as opposed to doing it for a quest, just because everything I've seen so far um, is sending me out into the wasteland. Because for whatever reason, the game doesn't seem to like to send you to POIs that are close to the trader. And I don't know why. It's such a pain in the ass. I wish they would, but... Uh, but I want to, I wanna, you know, pretty much get everything in the green biome looted. And, um, you know, that way we've we've done it, right? And we've gotten uh, all the prizes they have to offer. And remember, we don't have... We don't have respawning uh, loot on our settings. So once we loot the place, it's looted, and that's it. There's no more looting uh, to do. Ooh, which way do I want to go here? Uh, looks like I want to go this way, yeah. I'm still trying to get used to... The pathway to the city here and um, yeah well, I'll just show you where I'm gonna perch for the night and then I'll I'll cut the camera uh, because I, again I'm not I, I mean I do have a pretty decent supply of ammunition now but I don't have a surplus I just have enough you know to, to get us to take care of us but not enough to just blow on a horde night so uh, what I'll do is I'm just gonna again hunker down and not put up an active uh, fight uh, for this horde night but we will do that um, in fact what I have in mind too um, let's cut across here what I have in mind is uh, I'm gonna set up an underground um, hanging uh, base design and uh, so whoa so that's kind of my plan I've got a I got a fairly detailed idea you know of what it's gonna look like See, the nice thing about the motorcycles, the buzzers can't even catch me. I mean, they will eventually catch up to me, but they can't catch me. <laughs> Suck it, Fido! Oh, we could do... We could actually perch up on the... On the balcony of Higashi. That is a stout building. I guess the downside to that, though, is I don't know if I want the... Everything's chasing me. I don't know if I want the the horde to to destroy you know parts of that building though so you know what let's let's do the ostrich let's perch on the ostrich tonight we're probably gonna have a little bit of a fight up at the top there but that's okay we can handle that so let's go around the front here and we will we'll nerd pull up right here in this corner you know the one thing that's kind of bad about the ostrich though is it's not really spider proof whereas the old apartment building is because it's got the eve all the way around it Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's just do it anyway. 
I mean, I do have ammo. See, I've got ammo, so I, I mean, if a spider does get up there, we could... We could fight it. If it's an irradiated spider, though. Um, that's, that's gonna be tough, but... We'll deal. We'll deal, man. We'll deal. Okay. Whoops. Okay, let's go up. We are going to have some sleepers on the roof, so we're going to have to fix them. Uh, you might notice if you look at my toolbar that I have switched out... What the hell was that? I've switched out um, my AKs for the M60. And I have a couple mods on it. I've got the this mod, uh, what's it called? This thing. The foregrip mod and then uh, the magazine extender. Oh shit! Those are some bad Z's. Gotta love the M60. Yeah, baby. Suck it, copper. Whew! You're still not dead? Oh, he blew up. Okay. Whew! <laughs> Jeez Louise! Oh, they're coming! Oh, no! They're coming up that way! Reload quick! Oh, not good! Reload! Oh, this is not good. Oh, we're dead. Oh, I forgot that they could get up that ladder. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. We are... Oh, shit. I completely forgot that they could get up the ladder in the attic there. Now what are we going to do? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, what time is it? Oh, man. That was bad. We got one... <laughs> We got one hour? Oh shit, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab this and this. And let's just grab a pistol. And I have, have some backup ammo in here. Oh man! Not good, not good at all. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, um, try and get back to our motorcycle. And we're gonna have to do Horde Night on the road. Um... <laughs> oh shit, I can't believe it. Oh man. I should not have... I, I, I completely... Like I said, I completely forgot that... Uh, here, let's make sure this is completely full. That they could get up on the roof. Because they can't get up on the apartment building. Um, They just can't, right? Well, there they could theoretically. There's one spot. Uh, but on the ostrich, there, there's like a, a... Like a hatchway or a ladder leading up from the upper floor. Oh, man. That was bad. It's a good thing we're not playing Dead is Dead, huh? This is not good. Alright, well... Yeah, I, our best bet is to try and make it back to the motorcycle. And, um... And then we're, we're probably just gonna have to do Horde Night on the road. Or what I could do... Well, see, all of our stuff's up on the roof, though. And I can't... I'm not gonna be able to get back up on that roof. Without, and get my stuff without, you know... Getting rushed again. Those were some nasty Zekers, too, man. We had some whites. An, an irradiated cop. Holy shit. That was bad. Yeah, that was, uh, that was not smart on my part. <laughs> I completely forgot about that, but you know what? It was entertaining, right? You guys enjoyed it, so... That's all that matters. Man, I'd like to get through these mountains before the Horde Night actually starts, though. This mini bike is so damn slow compared to the motorcycle. I'm spoiled now. I think we'll- I think we can make it back there before the Horde Night actually starts. Oh, jeez. That was intense. Leave me alone, buzzard. I don't have time for you right now. Yeah, I think we'll- I think we'll make it okay as long as I don't get stuck or fall off a hogback or something like that. Holy crap. My heart's still racing. Okay, so we came around this way. And we've got... we can just... okay, yeah. Uh, we, we got this. We got this. Well, we got this all the way to our motorcycle. After that, who knows what's gonna happen. Okay, don't hit any of the iron thingamadoodles. Uh, 
Oh. I don't make this shit up, you guys. <laughs> it just happens this way. All right, where's the ostrich? I think we need to go another block over. What time is it? 2143. Oh, nope, that's not where we need to go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean... I don't think, I don't think we should try and get my stuff. I mean, that's be so dangerous. If we tried to ninja up there and get it, if I die again, then I'm really screwed because, you know, my other mini bike's at the other base, but my bedroll's at the one with the awning. Oh shit, that scared me. Not even, I forgot about him. You know what, screw that, we'll just leave that. We'll just leave the mini bike there. We'll pick it up in the morning. All right. Well, shit. Oh, no, 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 not good. Um, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard to do because I'm not really familiar with. Um, I'm not really familiar with these streets. So you know, they they dead end like this. So I don't want like the horde completely chasing me. What we need to do? Ah, shit. We are out of time. We're gonna be harassed by buzzards. Well, okay, it's do or die, you guys. Oh my god. I can't believe this. We gotta we gotta stay on the roads, and it's gonna be really hard to see too. At least we're on the motorcycle though. And as long as I stay moving, you know, the horde will stay behind me. If I stop, you know, they will catch up. But as long as I stay moving, we should be okay. Buzzards are gonna be a big problem though. I don't have a lot of ammo in my backup gun. So we need to not do that, first of all. We need to have an avoidance policy as opposed to a stop and shoot them policy as much as possible because I have to conserve my ammo. Don't hit those things. Ugh. I thought that uh, I thought that the motorcycle could break those iron things, um, but apparently it can't. I know, I'm pretty sure the 4x4 can, but the motorcycle can't, unfortunately. You'd think it'd be able to with that big old snowplow thing on the front of it, but... Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have to keep moving. That's really all there is to it. That was some badass luck, man. I'll tell you what. We're still gonna have to... We still gonna. We're still gonna have to get up there and get all of our stuff in the morning too. Oh man, not good. You know what I might do is I might set a bedroll down at the bottom of the ostrich. So you know that way if we if we die again trying to get it, we're not all the way back um, in the green bomb, right? Oh jeez. Okay, this is good here. This is a nice long stretch of road. Um, and wide too, so yeah, this is actually good. It's not quite as janky as it uh, as it was up further north in the city. So we have a nice long stretch of road that we can just you know use to avoid them real quick. We could play bowling for for buzzards with zombies and buzzards maybe if they fly if they flew low enough. Whew, okay, I can sort of semi kind of relax a little bit now. <laughs> a little bit. Not, we still got to stay on our guard. This is not... We're not out of the woods, man. We're not out of the woods, but... We're better off than we were about five minutes ago. Okay, there's no road. It's really hard to see the roads, too. That's the other thing. Really hard. I don't want to really stop and look at my map because... You know, I'm sure there are buzzers chasing me right now. Yeah, that just goes behind there. Well, I'm not seeing any buzzards. Yeah, you know what we should have done? Gosh dang it, we should have gotten up on the Higashi when I was thinking about it. Because there's like a... There's like an on... Well, I wouldn't call it an awning, but there's a ledge. Um, about, I don't know, three-fourths of the way up on that building. And we would be really, really safe, you know, from the horde up there. We might aggro a couple of the sleepers in the other side of the room, but there's bulletproof glass, so, you know, we'd have time to deal with them. Not like I got rushed on that building. I knew I, I knew I was totally effed <laughs> when I saw the second white. I thought we might be able to pull it off when we killed the first batch of them. 
the first white and the first uh, cop. The other thing gotta, you guys got to keep in mind, too, is I don't have... Um, first of all, I've got a green M60, so, you know, it's only mid-level. And secondly, I only have one point in the machine gun, right? And so... Um, I'm not, you know, I, I'm just not doing that much damage. So when you're up against an irradiated cop or a white like we were, oh, bullet sponges, man. Remember, we're playing on insane difficulty, too. Don't ever forget that. All right, well, guys, um, all I'm going to do is just ride around and stay on these, you know, try and stay on, there's some, probably some horde right there. Try and stay on these wider, wider roads, and, you know, and stay away from the horde until morning. And then when morning comes, I'll bring you back at that point, and we'll have to figure out a strategy for recovering our stuff, which I think is going to be just me putting a bedroll down by the bike, and then, you know, going up there and trying to, trying to get it, trying to ninja it. So that's the plan. All right, guys. Well, I will see you in the morning. I'll, I'm going to keep the recorder running in case something really crazy happens. But if nothing really crazy happens, um, I'll see you in the morning. Okay? Don't go away. All right, guys. It is morning, and we survived the night. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy happened uh, overnight. I did record the whole thing. I don't know. I might do like a, a little bit of time lapse, or I might not. I don't know. We'll see. I probably won't, actually, now that I think about it, because nothing happened. I just basically rode around, stayed away from the zombies, killed one or two buzzards um, that were chasing me, and that's really about it. Uh, I did try to be productive, though, and um, I spent my time mapping out the streets of the city as best as I could in the dark, you know? Um, so we got most of the city uncovered. Um, there's, there's a little spot here, except for I think that's kind of down in a just a... Well, yeah, like a little depression there anyway. What, did I hear a buzzard? Oh, yep, yeah, I sure did. Um, so there's still a few places to the south that we that we need to uncover, but for the most part... Um, you know what? Let's give this son of a bitch a magnum. Oh, come here! <laughs> Love it. Um, so anyway, yeah, we got a couple more areas to the south that uh, uh, that we need to do. In fact, we got this little, let's just hit this spot really quick. Uh, but we need to get back over to the ostrich now and figure out uh, the best strategy for getting our stuff back. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and be sneaky, sneaky, super, super sneaky uh, and see if we can get up there and get that hole plugged up so that they, you know, so the zombies can no longer get up on the on the roof. Because I was just, you know, I, like I said, I had forgotten about that, and I was... I, I expected a couple of sleepers, because there usually are some sleepers up there. I'm just looking out over that water there. Um, you know, but I wasn't expecting to have to fight, like, the whole damn building. <laughs> Which is pretty much what, what happened. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, we got, uh, I got this little area here, and then I'm pretty sure the city ends there. There might be a little bit more down in this area for us to uncover, but we'll worry about that later. That's not a high priority right now. So let's get back to our... Um, let's get back to our stuff. And, uh... Recover it. So, I'm gonna... Like I said, I'm going to... Uh, There's a little... Running a little gauntlet here. Uh, I'm gonna make a... Bedroll first of all so that way if we if we die again we you know we're we're right by the bike and see if we can sink up there get our stuff and see if we can also we want to go down there yeah I guess so uh, patch up that hole so that way if we want to use the ostrich the next time on the next horde night <laughs> it, we can actually do that but I having to fight the whole building so I'm not really sure at, at this point when we'll be ready to fight the horde again. We, you know, like with our own base. But uh, that is in the works. It's just I'm not sure exactly when it's going to happen. Very unlikely that I'll be ready to do that by the next horde night. But maybe possibly the horde night after that. We'll have to see. Okay, let's cut over through here. 
But there are a lot of POIs in this uh, mega city. Lots of stuff to loot, so that's going to be fun, you know, when the time comes for us to do that. And, I, you know, I'm not necessarily going to wait until I am as absolutely decked out as I can be before we come back here. Uh, I just need to be a, a little bit better equipped and have a little bit better skills with guns and what whatnot, and, and also, you know, with stealth before we, you know, before we really start tackling it in earnest. So, okay, let's see. Where is our... I think we... Did we nerd pull up over here? Where did we nerd pull up at? Thought it was in the front. Oh shit, there's a dog. No, don't get stuck right there! Damn it! Oh, oh here we are, okay. Of all places to get stuck, for goodness sakes. Whoa! Yeah, you can tell my handgun skills suck. It takes two magnum shots to kill a dog. That's... <laughs> that's not good. Do we get somebody else's attention now? Alright, so... Oh man, it's a white too. No, we don't want to mess with him. Let's pull him away. Drag him over this way. So yeah, that's uh, I, I want to have, I want to have a little bit better skills. Um, you know, in our our weapons of choice, the M60 is definitely going to be a staple. Even the, even if we go, you know, with a stealth overall stealth build, the M60 is going to be our backup plan, so to speak. Um, so. All right, now we got frickin' businessman zombie. Come on, you guys, leave me the hell alone so I can get my stuff back. I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to shoot him because you know then I'm gonna alert even more Zekers. Come around the corner here. lead him off over this direction. Uh. Yeehaw! I see you, buzzard. Take a magnum to the face. Okay. Did we leave that white over this way? I want to pull him back. I don't even see him now. Okay. Alright, are we clear for the moment? <sighs> okay. Let's, um... Let's just pick this up and put it in here. Here, we could wear these. That'll give us a little bit more damage with our pistol. Wow, we don't have we don't have any frames either. Shit. Okay. Um I mean we could use this and get some. <laughs> If we're gonna do that, though, we probably better move away from the building just because of the noise. Here, but let's get the bedroll down first. Let's do that first before we do anything else. And then I gotta remember to reset the bedroll back in the green biome once we get out of this little predicament here. Okay, so we'll craft the bedroll. I always forget that it only takes 10. I always think it takes 20 to make a bedroll. Maybe it used to. I don't know. I don't know why I think that, but... Okay, the other thing I want to do is let's move a little bit away from the building, too.
Okay. Now, let's go cut a couple trees down so we can make enough wood frames uh, to get back up there. Make sure we're clear at the moment. Using the chainsaw always is always nerve-wracking in this game because A, it's really loud and you can't hear if a zombie's sneaking up on you, well, rushing up on you when you're using it, and B, Fun Pimps nerfed it badly and it doesn't hardly do damage to zombies anymore, which absolutely makes no sense. Another one of their really stupid decisions, in my opinion, which you're all entitled to. <laughs> It should be like the ultimate melee weapon. Really? We're out of gas already? It should be like the ultimate melee weapon. Oh, I got gas in my inventory. So yeah, it's just another one of those decisions they made that doesn't register on my sense meter. My common sense meter. It used to do pretty good damage. It used to be a good melee weapon a long time ago, but it isn't anymore. All right. Anyway, um, let's let's make some wood frames. We'll just well, we don't need 300, but we'll make a few here. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. I'll keep the I'll keep the coal. That's a decent amount of coal. So the name of the game here is. To get up there, um, I'm going to leave the Magnum here, too, so that way we have a backup gun in case we epically fail again. And we might as well leave the chainsaw here, too. There's no point in taking that up. Uh, okay. Make sure we're loaded up here. All right, so what we need to do is we need to try and get up there as quietly as possible. Um... So, let's just do another nerd pull here. And I'm going to just, you know, try and do this a little bit at a time so we don't get our stealth meter too hot. Okay, so yeah, it's that ladder right there that they were able to get up. So, I can't tell if there's a sleeper over there. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to very quietly sneak over and, and just put a frame over the top of that for the moment until we get our stuff back, and then what we're going to do is break it. Remember, I've got that perk now where I can fall down while I'm crouching. It doesn't make any noise, so that com is coming in super handy for here. Okay, so let's just block that off for the moment. I can't tell if that's a sleeper or not. Let's just get to our bag. Let's just move really, really slowly. So our stealth meter's at 35 when it goes back down, so... Just as quiet as possible. Yeah, I don't see any sleepers. I think we're good. There could be some behind those... Uh, conduits, though, so we still need to be careful here. <sighs> okay. So let's get everything back uh, in place where it normally goes. That goes in three. This goes in two. Uh, 
A shotgun can go there. Pistol can go there. Med pack goes there. And we can put... Uh, let's put the axe here so we can break that uh, ladder. Make sure everything's loaded. I could have maybe switched to my other guns, but I, I don't think I would have survived that in any case. There was just too many of them, and they kept coming. And they were high-end Zekers, too, man. Those, those zombies were no joke. All right, let's make sure the rest of the roof is... Excuse me, it's clear first before we go break that, and then we'll hit that loot, and then we'll probably have to wrap up this episode. Whew, man, what a crazy, crazy time. And, you know, once we secure this roof, then we know that it's actually usable uh, for the next Horde Knight if we decide to, do, to use it. This is from where the cop blew up. Look at all the damage. <laughs> man. Okay. Um. Okay, they're not getting up there now. Let's just patch this entire thing up. At some point, some future date, you know, we might actually go down in here and loot this place. But for now, we're just patching it up. We're making it so the AI doesn't even see it as a potential pathway up here. It's just another part of the ceiling, man. That's all it is. All right. So, let's go hit this loot. Maybe we'll get something good for all of our trouble here. I'd rather not aggro anything right now. Okay. Take that stuff. Some more 7.62 ammo. Ah, oh, you know what? I should have put these on, huh? Damn it. Okay. Yeah, we can make a little bit of bank off of that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Let's get rid of this. Uh, while we're up here, though, why don't we hit these... Uh, these air conditioners to see if we can get some brass radiators. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, head on back to the green biome and I'm just going to keep working on the base and bring you back at some point in the near future with an update on where we are. I might not bring you back until I completely finish my base um, because once I, you know, once we get that done then we can get back uh, going on questing. Well, that woke somebody up. And, uh, you know, and, and leveling and getting geared up so we can come back uh, to the city and really start start tearing it a new one. <laughs> That's the plan, anyway. We're probably going to get our get ourselves a new one torn, you know what I mean? But uh, we'll do the best we can. Have fun with it, no matter what. Okay. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, and I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy.